the silk fabric example from Dharma Trading Company came, and I want to take a minute or two and talk about what is potentially appropriate for uh, Tang Dynasty garb. So I'm going to start with the Hobotai silk, um, which comes in several different weights from Dharma, ranging from uh, 5 mum to 16. Um, the, we got to remember with silk weight measurement, the smaller the number, the lighter the silk. Um, the 5 mum is really, really lightweight. Um, they also sell this, like veils and scarves, made out of this fabric. Um, this would be appropriate for the paibo or the pizzi, that the cape or that ribbon um, that's just draped over the arms. Um, and you can see this one comes in a couple different widths, uh, 36 inches and 45 inches. The first price is the um, up to nine yards, nine cut yards, and the second is if you've got over 10. Um, for this, as well as the eight millimeter, which again is stuff that they come, they make scarves and veils out of as well. I don't know if I would necessarily buy it um, by the yard. Um, if I was going to use it for the pigbo or the pizzi, when I could just get it um, already cut, already hemmed, ready for dyeing or printing or whatever, in the um, as as a scarf or a veil, um, unless they did not have the size I needed. But for the most part, when I've looked at what they offer with scarves and veils, they're they're pretty decent as far as dimensions go. Um, go to this half of my table. I laid them out on the table so you can kind of see. Um, how opaque they all are, um, because that becomes a thing when you're looking at making the shirt and the skirt um, and the, the banhi, uh, with that little half sleeve jacket. Um, the 10 millimeter, or 10 mum, it's not millimeter, it's mum. It looks like millimeter because it's two M's, but it's mummy. It's how they, um, how they measure silk weight. I was debating this last night and talking with my husband about how, if this is opaque enough to do skirts out of because I'm really tempted by that 70 inch width, um, especially since the, the skirt gets so much pleating. Um, but you know, now that I have it in my hands, I'm not sure if it's quite right. It would work great, I think, for shirts, um, especially the shirts that have the longer sleeves because you want them to be lightweight, you want them to be flowy, um, but that's a great, I think that'll work great for that. Um, but that at the same time, I also think that the 12, uh, the 12 mum would work great for shirts. It is a little bit more opaque. It only comes in the 45 inch width, which is fine for a shirt. Um, for a skirt, um, if you're anything like me, you have to do crazy extra math to figure out how to get panels in there so that you can get the same volume um, as opposed to just fudging it and then losing volume on your skirt. And then here's the 16 mum. Oop, flip back thing. They're really, really light. Um, again, this is going to be the most opaque of the Hobotai silks. Um, it's a, they're really beautiful. Um, but you can see the difference is not that crazy much. Um, but of course, when you get a larger swath of it on, on your body, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, one other one I wanted to talk about for clothing is the Silk 12 when I did my the Kingdom ANS project in April. Um, this is what I used for my skirt. It takes dye super well. It's a it looks like it's a little opaque or a little transparent, but once you have the dye on there, it's fine. Um, but this is what I used for my skirt. It's lovely. Um, I didn't print it on it. I've only just dyed it, but it's great. Um, and if if I had to use a 45 inch width for a skirt, I would probably stick with this as opposed to using either the 12 or the 16 mom um, habotai just because I'm familiar with it already, and I, it's so lustrous. Um, and it is a little bit more opaque because of the twill. Um, before we get to the gauze, I want to talk a little bit about the crepe. It's technically a period fabric. I'm not sure how this crepe compares to what the crepe was in period. I'm not a huge fan of the texture. I think it feels, I don't know, wrong to me. <laughs> I don't really like it. I like the smoother habotai or the twill. But they do have these. Um, I've, I've, this is the first time I've ever gotten any crepe from Dharma is the, with the swatches. So there you go. <laughs> um, I can't say much about them other than technically their period. Um, according to my uh, Chinese silks book, which is 
basically my go-to source for um, for information about textiles in China. I've got a couple interlibrary loans out for more, but let me grab it real quick. When I got it, it didn't come with a dust jacket, so it's just the big black book. Um, but it's this guy by Vonnegut. It's really cool. Um, if you can get a copy, there's some of the pages are on Google Books, but if you can get a copy of it, it's totally awesome. Okay. Um, lastly, I want to talk about the gauze. This is what I used to make the large sleeve gown. I can't remember if I used the 4.5 or the 3. Mom, wait. Um, either one of these, they're really, really light. They're really, really flimsy. They do take printing well. Um, you wouldn't think they do, but I definitely... Make sure you have a protective surface <laughs> underneath if you're going to use, use it for that. Um, I had such a hard time with the ends of this. I should have starched it, for sure. Um, that being said, because it was so difficult to sew, um, I know that the organza would be really tempting because it's so much stiffer and it's not gonna you know be as delicate but at the same time it is stiffer and when you look at those images those paintings of the women wearing the large sleeve gown they are very very flowy they are very very drapey and this just I don't think is gonna cut it this is you know it reminds me of tool or the um, sort of the, the ballet uh, the tutu fabric because um, it is so stiff and if I was doing pearl cosplay from Steven Universe, this would totally be my skirt. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's it doesn't have, like, see if I'm pinching it, and it's very, very, I mean, you could probably get some really awesome pleats in it, but, you know, yeah, whereas this, it's much softer. It's much, much more suited to the large sleeve gown, if you're going that route. So, anyway. And there's a lot more that comes in that silk package. Lots of other fabrics <laughs> my um, in that silk fabric pack. I mean, it's all their silk fabric. Um, whether that silk is a like a, a silk blended with another fiber or something like that. So they also have their black silks. So I'm just going to take these and set them over here because, um, I mean, I don't know. I've not seen any depictions of women in the Tang Dynasty wearing black um, other than like a hat. So, I mean, I could be wrong, but yeah, so I'm just going to set that over there. So it's there, but yeah. Um, so most of the stuff, the other stuff, you're not necessarily going to use. Like the silk velvet here, it's really cool. Um, and I would probably, I'm really tempted to actually try it for Burgundian or something like that. But again, not, yeah. Um, again, not to say that they didn't wear it, but I, I haven't seen specific mention of it. I mean, I think it might be in the list of silks that Vanneker said they produced, but I'd have to double check. Um, so there's a lots of satins, more chiffons, that sort of thing. Um, there's a stretch silk velvet. Again, you, um, do -do 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 -do. um, the only thing, some raw silk, you know, that you're definitely not going to use because, you know, it's too slubby. Same thing with the Dupani, you know, that sort of stuff. There's a wool silk blend which looks really neat. It's kind of, um, what's it say? Yeah. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty transparent. So I don't, I'd have to, you know, you'd line it or something or double it up with something else, but definitely cool. Um, the only two other ones that I wanted to talk about because <laughs> when my phone died, I went, oh, hey, these are here. Um, there's a heavy crepe that's actually pretty decent. I mean, it looks, it reminds me a lot of the twill. Um, I don't know what the price is offhand on this. Um, and then there's a flat crepe, which in the description says it's a combination of crepe and hobo tie, basically. Um, this is eight millimeters, so again, it's, or eight moments, so it's not going to be super opaque, um, but it's not bad, you know. Um, so again, basically, if you're you know, looking at, if this ends up being cheaper than the hobo tie, eight, eight mom, 45 inches, you might want to go with this. Um, it's up to you. Again, I don't know. I didn't go look and see what the prices were before I started filming again. Anyway, so that's sort of an overview of what Dharma has on offer for silk. Um, I think this look back was like 20 bucks. So if you want to spend 20 bucks on it and feel them for yourself, go for it. Um, otherwise, I mean, if I ever teach a class on Tang Dynasty stuff, I'd probably bring some of this with me just so, you know, people could feel it. Um, because there is something to be said about, you know, you look at it online and it's all the same sort of like swooshy fabric sample, yay picture. 
but you can't really get a sense of what it is. It's like yarn, you know, you can't get a sense of what it is until you actually touch it. Now given, these are pretty small, um, so you can't get a real good sense of how it would drape, um, or, you know, how opaque it is, you know, because the skirt, you know, yes, it's banded at your, at the, your bust, but then it's falling away from your body and pleats. So it's not like right up against your fingers, like I'm holding it here. It's standing a little further back. So you might be able to use some of this, the, the lighter weights and get away with it. That being said, I haven't found any specific mention of undergarments on the lower half of the body for Tong Dynasty. I can't imagine why they wouldn't have any. Um, there is some evidence of skirts being layered. So if you wanted to use the, um, the Ten Mom, for example, um, hobo tie in that wider width for a skirt, you know, the word with one go, doubling it, you know, layering it might help with the opacity. Um, so that looks a little bit better as far as being able to see through it. Um, and I mean, like I said, I can't imagine, I mean, if the Romans had slips and, and effectively the stream bikini undergarment, um, I can't imagine why China wouldn't you know, um, at least some sort of, of feminine um, undergarment on the, the, on the hips, you know, on the lower half of the body. Anyway, that's getting <laughs> sidetracked. So that's the silk, um, and I'm going to leave it at that.